This is the uh, Benetou Barracuda 7. The name of my boat is the Caledonia. Named after the Scottish side of my family for change. We usually do mostly everything Irish. You have a name like Michael Kevin Patrick O'Shea. You can see the boat. It's got uh, two swim platforms in the back, including a ladder that goes down. Um, they're nice. There's the uh, fuel fill right there. It's easy to put stuff in, easy to put gas in. It's uh, pretty easy to use. The uh, other fills, the water, and the, uh, I think it's just the water, I guess, and the sewage pump out are also pretty fairly accessible too. They're on each side of the boat. One is down there, and one is on the other side of the boat. Uh, plenty of room in the boat. Uh, you got three storage compartments. One huge one that's under the table there. One on each side. You can see kind of handles for each. One thing that the uh, French did for some reason that I'm not a big fan of is they keyed all three boxes differently. So you have to uh, uh, use a different key on each one, which is a little pain in the butt. Uh, here's the uh, fish tank. So when you catch fish, like I did today, caught a uh, 19 and a half inch striper. Um, plenty of room to put fish in there. You just add water. It's kind of a huge box for putting fish, so it's good, pretty good room. Put that pole in there, add water, and the fish are fine until you get back to the dock. Um, walk around the boat and take a look. There's the name, a couple speakers. I had them actually mount the speakers so they were aiming backwards. They typically aim them straight down, like right here but I had to aim backwards because we do a lot of, in the summer we inflate a big, we call it the island, and we sit back in the water and listen to music. So we want the ability to do that. Here's the lights, there's lots of lights throughout the boat. The only thing I don't like is that the lights are uh, always white. I wish the second uh, setting was actually uh, red for uh, night vision. Down here is the uh, water dispenser. So if you need to hose something off, when you're out, you can pull the sprayer out. I'm not going to pull it out, but uh, I'm going to have a hard time getting it in. Basically, it pulls out, and you got a sprayer, and there's a pump to it that uh, allows you to spray water. It's good for when you spill a beer or you have fish guts or something and you want to take care of them. We'll walk around the side of the boat. There's the uh, waste pump out right there. Uh, if you look down there, the little square down there is actually blue LED lights which light up at night. They're all around the boat on the outside. They're really nice. This is the cabin. Uh, you got the uh, pilot seat. You got a passenger seat. or You can actually try to fit two people in there, but it'd probably be a little uncomfortable. Got speakers. More lights. You got. Uh, we had them install fans. One right there. And then one right down in the uh, cabin. Uh, you can see the instrumentation. We've got the uh, command link, Yamaha command link. The uh, we've got a Lorentz uh, GPS. The depth finder is still not working on it. They have to come out and fix that. Um, they did not connect the GPS to the Yamaha um, Smart Link or command link, and so because of that, we get the the dash dash for miles per hour, which kind of annoys the heck out of me. So I'm have to pay someone else to uh, actually hook them up. Um, put a very nice uh, radio in here. It has the AIS and it has the MMSI, which means that I can, other vehicles who register themselves with the AIS, I can see what they're doing. They show up and I get alerts if they're heading towards me. And then the uh, MMSI is the distress call. So I can hit the distress button and it automatically sends out my GPS coordinates to the Coast Guard or whoever else, and they can track and find me. Um, the nice thing about the microphone is it actually has a speaker in it, so you can pull it to your ear. Uh, these are the controls for the overhead spotlight. And this is the uh, autopilot. The only thing I don't like about the autopilot is it's sort of mounted away from where I'm at, so I can set my course and reach up and hit navigation. It takes me where I want to go, but I'd like to play with it more. My wife actually thinks it's okay there because she thinks I would play with it more if it was actually down close where I could reach it all the time. This is the uh, the Sonic Hub, which is the the uh, where you put in your uh, your uh, phone or radio or whatever you want to have, and it has about 15 or different. Uh, uh, plastic things for different kinds of radios, different kinds of phones if you want to sit them in there. It also has Bluetooth, so I don't even bother with that. I just use the Bluetooth. That works out pretty well. Um, it has a fridge, which is very nice. Nice to have a fridge. Two big compartments underneath. 
there's actually another storage compartment underneath here. Uh, and you can have a sink put in there and it's already set up for it. And so I'll probably do that sometime in the future. Storage behind the seat and it's actually set up to hold wine bottles, which you, is how you can tell that it's actually a French boat. The French, for whatever reason, do not put cup holders on their boats. So we put a lot of these plastic things that we can throw our wallets and uh, cups and stuff in so we can have a cup holder. Um, we do have what's called the structure scan on this, which means that uh, it actually gives you kind of a 3D rendering of the bottom. We're pretty shallow right now, so it's not showing anything. But if you went over a shipwreck, it would be like looking at a shipwreck through like night vision. Um, it's pretty cool. We really haven't had a chance to use, use it. They still have, need to work on our sonar to get that going right. Um, but it's still pretty cool. This is the sonar. Which doesn't really show anything because we're pretty shallow. And then of course we gives you all kinds of other stuff. Um, tells you the tides. Um, tells you uh, where other ships are at and stuff. So you can go to vessels and tells you if there's somebody with an AIS that what they're doing, where they're at. But I have to turn the AIS, AIS on on the uh, radio up there for it to actually work. So these are connected. To this GPS is actually connected to the radio. Let's go back to chart. The stereo is also controlled via the, uh, the GPS. So you hit the bottom here and that brings up my thing. So now when I do plus or minus, it does volume. And then when I hit the map, I do plus and minus and it does scan and in. So you just hit the bottom to switch and it gives you all your options. You can mute, you know, you can change to different sources. Right now I'm a volume 10, I'm on auxiliary two, which is the Bluetooth system through the Fusion stereo system. Um, it's got a, a pretty good uh, bathroom and uh, bed storage down here. It's really kind of tight. There's a cushion that goes in right in that space right there to get, make it pretty good for two people. And then there's a pretty good storage around the side there. Um, there's a light. They put in lots of lights. Um, and then we've got a blanket and some other stuff we've already stored in here. Some more cushions. The, those are cushions to actually fit into this hole and actually for back over the, the fish tank in the back, you can actually put a seat cushion on there and, and a back for that. This is the uh, bathroom, and it's actually fairly good size, believe it or not. Um, roomy enough for me to actually stand up. Uh, I'm 5'10". I don't know what it'd be like for somebody actually taller than me, but it's not too bad. It's got a hatch and a little uh, air in there. We've actually had them put another fan right there so that we can have fan both when we're in the bathroom and also when we're uh, uh, sleeping down below. So it's plenty roomy. It's not bad. We like it. Um, Works good for us. So close this up. And then you saw how the hatch, there's the uh, refrigerator and some storage area. There's more storage area underneath there. There's storage area and there are all these cushions here. There's, so there's tons of storage, more than we would actually ever use. And then this right here closes down to give you more room to get in and out. Um, it's got windshield wipers. We actually put the mirror on there. I just kind of wanted a mirror to look to see behind me so I don't have to keep glancing behind me. Uh, I'm going to walk out forward. This is the uh, front end here. Uh, it's got a nice big cushion here. It's got the uh, spotlight there. You got a sun hatch there that opens up and closes. It's got two different settings and it's also got shades that pull across it and a screen that pulls across it. And you got these two seats which are kind of nice, kind of like jump seats. There's the other one. And then we have the winch. We actually called the winch the Mary because uh, Mary was responsible for doing all of our uh, pulling up the anchors on all our other boats we've had in the past. So we now call it that. We have a line locker. So all the lines go in there. And we have the anchor locker, um, and we, which also has our bumpers and stuff in there. And it has the remote for the windlass, which goes right in here. And then it has the winch handle for winching up in case the windlass is not working. And then that also can be used to open up the, uh, the water and the uh, waste receptacles to get to add water and to take waste out. Hopefully not in reverse. This is pretty much the uh, Benetou Barracuda 7. It's a, uh, we really like the boat so far. Um, there's some issues that still need to be fixed on the boat by the, by the uh, salespeople, and mainly the electronics. And also for the, the hatch, the uh, screen that pulls over the uh, sunroof needs to be fixed because the uh, handle for it came off and apparently they've ordered that. We're also missing, uh, we ordered a, a, a sun canopy that goes over the back of the boat 
they did not come from France when the boat came. So that's supposedly en route with, uh, uh, with another boat that they have coming in fairly soon. This is the Benetou Barracou 7. It's a very nice boat. We were very, very happy with it thus far. Um, took it fishing for the first time today and I caught a 19.5 uh, inch striper, so I'm pretty happy with that. The boat is no longer a fishing virgin. Um, it's, a, it's a fun boat. Hope you guys get a chance to come out and go for a ride with us sometime. Thanks.